Saint Augustine said, What does love look like? It has the hands to help others. It has the feet to hasten to the poor and needy. It has the eyes to see the misery and want. It has the ears to hear the sighs and sorrows of men. This is what love looks like. I have been very fortunate to have been born into a very wealthy family. If not in financial resources, we are wealthy in values, strength, and courage, but above all, in love to others. My grandmother was a pillar in my family, as many grandmothers are. Some of my favorite childhood memories were by her side, bringing food, clothes, and blankets to the most neglected parts of El Valle de Juarez. Looking at her in action, it came so natural that I now wonder if she realized what she truly did. Not only for those people, but for her own granddaughter. I don't think she ever planned on igniting a passion in my heart. I am thankful for every gift my grandmother gave me, but the greatest one of all was the gift of opening my eyes to the power of one. The power of one action, just a single action can change someone's world. The power of a smile, the power of a word of encouragement, the power of a warm blanket in the winter, the power in a simple meal for someone that has not eaten in days, or the power of spending time with the lonely. Winning Miss Juarez was the first step in this wonderful journey. Moving forward to Miss Chihuahua, my state pageant, was very significant. I had the privilege of getting to know and work with the Radamuri community. This community is located at the highest point of the mountain range in the north of Mexico. The Raramuris are known as Pies Ligeros, which translates to light feet, for their amazing ability to run in a tiresome sandal or barefoot. They have an amazing culture for family and tradition is highly valued. It is a rough terrain and they lack basic needs like water, food, and proper shelter, not to mention the lack of education and medical attention. I am completely committed to helping them achieve a better quality of life, but it is extremely important that we do it with the utmost respect for their culture. I don't want to change them or change who they are. I want to be able to contribute to a better lifestyle within their culture. I want to contribute to their community by creating outreach programs that will give them access to running water, provide education for the children, provide medical attention for the whole community, and have access to a sustainable food resource. We have to strive to protect one of the most iconic communities in Mexico. I love my community. Two cities separated by a border and merged by the sense of unity. It is heartbreaking to see entire families suffering at the border. The first time I saw it, I immediately felt the utmost desire to help them in any way I could. I have had the opportunity to gather my family and my community to provide food and blankets for them. I had a sense of urgency, seeing the face of the children there. I didn't see politics. I saw hunger, feet with no shoes and no walls to keep them out of the colder heat. That is enough to take action. It's so rewarding to see how their faces light up with the simple gesture of kindness. We might not be able to change their situation, but we don't pretend to. We want to comfort hurting souls. Every action from every person there does more than supply a physical need. It helps restore their faith in humanity. I am grateful to have found a path that allows me to extend the meaning of beauty and purpose. Throughout this journey, I have found beauty in unexpected places and actions. Beauty with a purpose is more than a platform for a social project. It's a voice, hands and feet of those in need. It's an opportunity to reach further and stronger. I aspire to inspire unapologetically. 
Through my actions, I want to encourage other people to become aware that they are the hope of others, to see the beauty and the power of one.